Hey everyone, Gadget here, and you join me on an auspicious day. You see, this is day 100 of my Draw Something Every Day Challenge for 2023. And I decided to do something very special. This is the first piece that I did at the start of the year, so I'm going to redraw it. That seems sensible. So this was a trace that I did of this picture of a mannequin. And I, I liked it at the time, but I decided I wanted to do my own version of it. As in, take this idea that I'd done back on the 1st of January, when I was hung over to hell, and actually see if I can draw it from scratch, just using the image as a reference rather than tracing over it. So this is me kind of um, just getting the base lines in here. Um, and it takes me a couple of goes over just to kind of get it right. But as you can see, I'm trying to get the formation of all the limbs right, you know, try to get everything in the right place. And I think for the most part, I do get this right to start off. There, there will come a point where when I've got the whole body in place, I, I show my partner and she suggests a couple of changes. But yeah, kind of bring the body down. Uh, I, I wanted to make a kind of less kind of balloon hipped, like the mo like the, the model I'm working off is, and more like a realistic shaped person. This arm, her right arm, took me ages to get because I haven't really done much of uh, forced perspective or kind of artificial shrinking. It took me ages to get it right to try and get it so that it's kind of coming towards the camera. Um, and for the hand, it was just easier if I actually just drew the hand over the top of the image and just not tracing it again. But as you can see, you know, trying to get it right in place in situ where I could just keep referring back to the image rather than kind of constantly scrolling back and forth between the two. Um, but the reason I wanted to do this particular challenge was to try and, you know, see what my progress has been. You know, when I started this, I had very little drawing experience. I'd done a couple of things, but nothing I could say I was particularly impressed with. Um, and I certainly didn't have any skill or any kind of knowledge on kind of anatomy or, you know, how to put things together. So, yeah, that's where this came from. So, as you can see, I'm doing it without wireframes. I'm doing it just using the stuff I've learned over the last hundred days um and it's not the most perfect thing i've ever done but i wanted to show you know the progress so like getting the nose right getting the lips in getting the position of the eyes hair hair is something i've been practicing a lot and i wanted to get i was not happy with the hair on the original so i wanted to try and get more shape and more movement in the hair so yes this is where i'm showing my partner and she recommends i move the leg the leg isn't quite right um, it, has, it kind of crosses over on the model, so that's what I try to aim to do there. Um, and then we had a long conversation about the size of the character's bust, which, yeah, I mean, yeah, to be fair, they're massive. Um, <laughs> I've drawn her since I've drawn her with a smaller bust, but this is me recreating the uh, the original picture that I did. So then it's a very th fine outline with a ballpoint pen brush and just trying to make everything flow and trying to give as few lines as possible. Um, I don't fully succeed with that. There is some kind of scratchiness to it. I do need to work on my line confidence. I know that much. But, you know, getting the detail in on the fingers, trying to get the hand right, uh, trying to get all the shapes. And the thing is, most of the colour on the... especially on the kind of the trunk of our body is black. So you're not going to see a lot of these outlines. I just wanted to kind of get the shape in and, you know, make it make sense. Um, I don't know what I was doing there. Probably just deep in thought. Um, hands, hands are still a bother for me, but I'm getting better at them. I do need to do more like studies and more, you know, sit and work on hands better. But yeah, as outlines go, you know, this one was pretty simple. And again, I wanted to really define the hair. I think I did a good, good enough job on the hair. Uh, so yeah, getting the kind of the out, outer bits of her armor, uh, or outfit rather. And then it's just big, big, big black. Lots of black. <laughs> Lots of black for a main armor. Of course, this makes things difficult to draw on. So, you know, I did reduce the opacity after this. There you go. So, you know, I can actually see what I'm doing at any given time. It's really hard to do outlines when you've got, like, just black on black. I really should have maybe put, like, a background colour in or something like that. I don't know. But you live and learn. You live and learn. So, yeah, get the pants in. And then get the chest piece in try and make it as neat as I can. I don't, again, I don't think I fully succeed in that. Um, lots of, lots of, <laughs> lots of getting it right in the corners. Uh, then it's the blue for the kind of the under piece of her outfit. Or the kind of the alternating pieces of her outfit. Uh, this was, um, 
if you hadn't seen on Twitter, I, I marked this up. This was just kind of an OC creation. I called, um, I played Signalis just before I started this challenge, and I kind of wanted the. I, I like the idea of these kind of female androids, so this was kind of my take on it. Uh, she's called RE three one two. Uh, I have a backstory for her, but I can't remember it right now. It's quite late on on a bank holiday Monday, and I'm very tired. I'm probably full of beer. Um, <laughs> but yeah, getting the blue. I did do a different shade of blue for this, actually. It was more of a light blue on the first time I did it. Uh, I also realised I missed a couple of outlines there, so I kind of wanted to draw them in, and then realised I was on the wrong bloody layer because I'm an idiot. Um, but then, yeah, I kind of got in the segments, uh, the kind of the... Elbow, elbow segments, elbow bands. I can't remember if I decided if the blue bit was armor or not. Um, then we draw in the skin tone. Just standard skin tone. Again, getting in all those little crevices and trying to make it... At the minute it looks quite flat, but obviously we're going to then you know, put some shading on it, make it look a bit more realistic. And then the hair. The hair I went for a kind of a platinum blonde color. Wasn't happy with it at first and then lightened it up. I kind of wanted her to feel a bit ethereal at times. Um, so, yeah, picked on this colour and normally when I do hair, I do kind of like the hard cell shaded shadowing. This one I went different. I went a bit more of a ghostly shad shadowing for it and you'll see when I get to it in a couple of minutes time. Right, so yeah, so this is the kind of like white highlighting so they give shape to the black bits. Um, because obviously when I turn the opacity back up on that, you're not going to see any of the kind of the outlines or the edges. So I use this kind of like ghostly white effect to do it. Uh, I wasn't 100% happy with it. I also tried doing a shine on a boob and it looked like a like a nipple, so we didn't do that. Then kind of a hard white outline for the bits that cross over. Uh, I probably should have knocked the opacity down on that slightly, but yeah, it's kind of going in and out and just trying to get all the right colours in the right places. Uh, then, th so there was some ribbing to her, to her outfit, kind of, I, th I think I maybe had it set as solid, but either way, yeah, so this kind of ribbing that kind of just like fills out and gives a bit of texture to the, to the look of her outfit, which I quite like. Again, not the most confident line work, but, you know, I can live with it. Um, I didn't put any in the arms for some reason. I can't remember if I did that on the original. I don't think I did on the original, actually. Um, then we get in for the eyes. Eyes are still a struggle for me. I don't know why I can't get eyes right. I need, I need to do another study on just eyes. Uh, I don't, I didn't do a bad job here. I was actually quite happy with how they turned out. But yeah, I always really struggle with eyes. I think it's because they kind of like eyes are not flat, and eyes are certainly certainly don't look in the same place every time. Like your eyes will focus on something, so they'll be ever so slightly kind of. Uh, how would you say? Ever so slightly kind of crossed or like looking in different directions. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is what I talk about the kind of the shading for the hair, just trying to give it a little bit of texture. And then I do get a hairbrush. I do have a hairbrush from Jazza's, the YouTuber. It's in there. I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, but I'm nearly done here. So now I'm just kind of adding just a general shadow to it to give her some depth. I tried doing bits on the faces and it, it wasn't working for me. Um, I wanted to add more detail than I got here. But yeah, just putting the opacity right down kind of helped. And it just give the impression of it and see, I'll knock it down a little bit further as well. Once I've got everything in place, took the pencil lines out. Yeah, knock the opacity right down. And then we go on to just doing the background. And it's pretty much done. So yeah, this is uh, my... <laughs> 100th drawing of 2023 and you know what? I really enjoyed this challenge I think it's done it's done me wonders I think it's it's been fun I've learned so much and you know you can see you can actually see that there is progress from where I started to where I am and I think at day 200 I'll do this picture again and see how far I've come along then see if I've learned anything see if I can get eyes right that'll be nice <laughs> Uh, I'm really appreciative as well, like the people who are enjoying the videos and liking it and commenting. So please do, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and let me know if there's anything you'd like me to draw as one of my daily challenges or you've got any inspiration for me because God knows it's difficult to find things every single day. Uh, but yes, I'll have a video out for you in the next couple of weeks with whatever I do in the next 10 days or so. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.